Good morning. It's uh, Monday morning. We're blessed to be with you. I uh, hope you had a good weekend. You got to go to church and be a part of that. And uh, the, our uh, today our topic is I consider God's word. I would I would uh, say it like this: consideration, God's word. What consideration do we give it in our lives? Mm -hmm. And last Friday we were talking about maintaining. Uh, your life spiritually and the only way you can maintain that um, well it's two ways really one is your fellowship with the Lord but the other is reading his word meditating on his words and uh, I believe that uh, as a believer that we should give God's word the highest priority in our life um, I want to read a scripture you know when you are doing that he is the word so when you're giving the word priority, you're giving Jesus priority yes. for sure. Yeah, there's two two scriptures here, Psalms 119, um, and I'm going to read verse 15. I set my heart on your precepts and pay close attention to all your ways. My delight is found in your laws, and I won't forget to walk in your words. Many times when we talk about God's laws, Marcia, I think people are kind of put off. But what what does that mean? We forget not God's laws and the Amplified in, in Psalms 1, he defines it this way right here. He, it defines as God's um, um, t precepts, instructions, and in teachings, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that's what it is when we go to the Word of God, we find out what God says, then uh, we take that Word and we put it in our lives. You have to give, you ha it's, it's a, an act of your will to put the Word of God first in yep. your life. I mean, yep. it's a choice. God does not force you to put the Word for, first in your life. Yeah. And it's something we must do to, uh, to be successful in life. Sure. In Romans 1, uh, 12, 1 and 2, talks about, you know, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and that we present then we present our bodies as a living sacrifice you know but so there's two parts there one is that we we bring our bodies under subjection to the word but to do that we have to be able to re renew our minds to the word to find out what is right and what is wrong there the paul said this way there are a lot of things that you can do but not everything that you can do is beneficial in your life. And I think sometimes as Christians we think, well, God's word's taking my liberty or my freedom away. Not true at all, you know. Well, that's why uh, it's a choice. Yeah. The word of God sets you free. Yeah. Jesus says, I've come to set you free. Jesus is the word. Yeah. So as you study his word, you're literally doing what Jesus has told you to do. You know, what the word does, it guards us. It makes us wise. It gives us wisdom for daily living yep. and, and with our friends and our families and achieving success. It gives us the answer to every situation yeah. on, in life. And it takes a little work to yeah. find dig it in and dig. find it. But, you know, uh, there's a, literally a, an infusion of power released in you, in your spirit, each time you read or ponder the scripture. I remember when we first got spirit filled, how the words came off the page yeah. to us. And we should still feel that way yeah, when we exactly. study the word. Uh, there should be new revelations every day of the, of the word that God gives us because there is no, uh, otherwise, how boring would life be yeah. if you don't grow in the Lord? Yeah. I mean, once you know the Lord and you're born again, you're spirit filled. You should have this desire burning in you to know more about him. And the only way you're going to know it is to get in the Word. You know, Marsha, I was thinking, uh, Chris, you know I love history. I was thinking about the gold rush in California back in the 1800s. And um, and the, the thought was we could go out there and there would just be gold nuggets laying in the streams, yeah. you know. And, and a lot of them went out there and, and they looked in the streams. And when they didn't find it laying on top, they went away. They went back, disappointed, discouraged saying, well, you know, but the ones that became rich were the ones that were willing to work, work to dig, dig down, dig to sift through down. those things, you know, and they're the ones that became Amen. rich. They're the ones that found that goal. The same thing is true in the Word of God in our lives. We, we've, you know, yes, there are plenty of nuggets that are just laying on the top. John three sixteen, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son. Whosoever believeth in him should have 
She's not dying, or not, yeah, yeah, but have everlasting life. But, but, and they're laying on top. But it's when you begin to mine down into the Word of God and you understand the precepts and the thoughts, you know. I mean, that to me, that is phenomenal that God would even take time to try to help us think through yes. some of the and thoughts. And He gave us His Spirit yes. so that when we do this, he, it reveals new truths to yeah. us every day. Amen. I like this, Marcia. The confession is the word is the anchor uh, well, read, to read our life. It, read it. It's it. Yeah. The, an- the anchor of the word holds until my storm passes. The anchor of my word holds till my storm passes. I read it and spend time. I read it and spend time with God during my storm. With God during my storm. And He will get me through it. And He will get me through it. So if you're going through a storm today, get. Speak the word. Get the word out. Dig in. What does God say about that storm you're in? He tells you he will calm that storm. Yes, amen. 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 Be blessed. Have a wonderful day today.